India and Pakistan square off again. Only this time, it's a food fight. It's time to see who's going to rule the roost. They're fighting for pride, for honor, for glory. They're fighting to rule Foodistan. To bring you up to speed, only the creme de la creme of Foodistan's original 16 professional chefs remain. They are still sharpening their knives after the second individual cook-off. Two from India and two from Pakistan. But we gave the best of the rest from both sides a chance to come back. Eight chefs vied to recreate the iconic restaurant Kareem's Mutton Stew. Two Indians and two Pakistanis came closest to replicating the original taste. Their reward? A ticket to the next stop of Foodistan. So we now have eight chefs who will cook off in our quarterfinals. Here's Ali Khan to bring it on. Namaskar, Adabar Zahir, and a very good evening. Now, if it is at all possible, the level of competition right here at Foodistan has gotten even higher. All the chefs in actions in the quarterfinals have backed their reputations with skillful cooking. And to see them now facing off in the quarterfinal stage, I mean, what can I say? It's literally a mouth-watering prospect. And I wouldn't be surprised if Ali's sentiments are echoed by the Foodistan jury. Please welcome British chef with a global palate, Merrilee Sparker. Good evening, guys. Intrepid explorer of cuisine, Veer Sangvi. Hello, hi. And sweetaholic actress, Sonia Jahan. Good evening. Right, let's rock and roll then. The champion in our first quarterfinal knockout has been shared with several nicknames right here on Foodistan, all celebrating his near invincible aura. In his last cook off, he cut up a live crab to juice up his dish, and we summed the jury's mood up by saying it was a dish to die for. Undefeated in Foodistan, here's the bop of innovation the big B of cuisine. <laughs> Executive chef with the Indian accent, Chef Manish Mehrotra. From India! Good to see you as always, Chef. Thank you. Welcome. Manish's strong point would be his you know, skill, his perseverance. He works really hard. I think Manish has a very good chance of winning in Foodistan because he has experience working abroad and working with various ingredients. Although there'll be the new people's new environment, so we're keeping our fingers crossed, but we're hoping for the best for him. This is a determined and hard-headed man who has put his hand on his hand. When he did it, he did it with his whole effort and effort. And the result is that today he has reached this place. And I have a whole, whole faith that Manish will win in Foodistan Manish. World chef Manish has hogged the limelight on the Indian side. His Pakistani opponent has been the biggest star on her own side. She's the only chef on either side to have scored a perfect 10 on one dish, that too from Veer. If anyone can stop the Manish juggernaut, it can be the one and only Karachi Ki Razia celebrity chef Poppy Aga from Pakistan. Hi, Poppy. Welcome, please. My message to Poppy is that we're all rooting for her here or we're all hoping and praying and wishing and uh, you know and we're so proud of you Poppy that you've been chosen from Pakistan to go to India and to be part of this very prestigious competition and of course I know that you deserve it that you've worked so hard for it and you just have to keep the faith and believe in yourself because if anybody can do it you can but we're waiting for you and uh we, we know and we're pretty certain that you're going to come back with a trophy and you're going to make us all proud. Good luck and uh, do your best. Your competition today, Poppy. Well, whew. Do, need I say more? No, uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to turn into a blithering mess on the floor right about now. Um, 
what can I say? He's the guru and I'm, I hope to be a shagird and maybe one day he'll actually take me on as a shagird and I could only Besides the nerves, what else are you feeling being pitted against someone like Manish? Um, actually, I, I think that it's um, something that I have, it's a great honor uh, because if he likes one of the dishes that I've made, then that's a stamp of, you know, okay, that I'm okay at what I do. So that's what I'm looking for today. Wonderful. Thank you, Poppy, and all the very best. Thank you. Chef, uh, Razia, ke liye koi message? She's a very good friend. Day before yesterday, only I was talking to her and I said, okay, she's not well. So I said, my, mera ghar pas mein, do you want something home cooked, kitchen or anything? Ay, ay, so for, ay, ay. for her, <laughs> with her, it's Madla, a lot of competition. Manish bhi kaafi yeah. chupa hai. They're both trying to uh, <laughs> ghopo to chura in each other's back. <laughs> no, very it's, pyaar se. It's, it's <laughs> not like Nene that. ghar se joshanda bhej dete, janab. Chale, all the best to both you chefs. Thank you. Now, they say tonight's game changer was discovered accidentally by the hard-riding, meat-loving Mongols. It found its true place in Indian cuisine during the reign of Emperor Akbar when it was given as a makeover with the choicest spices and ghee. It's a rich source of protein, can be eaten as tikkas and curries and rolls, and of course as a spicy puna dish. Salivating yet? Then let's all say cheese. Our game changer tonight now, chefs, enough of googlies, enough of dusras. We have a serious bouncer to welcome you into the quarterfinals. And the bouncer is that yes, whilst the game changer is paneer, if you guys decide to go green, remember no spinach, no sag. Yani ke paneer bina palak. Is that clear? As always, you're not going to be alone. We've got apprentices for you. So please welcome for Team India, Harshit from IIHM Delhi. Rishav from IIHM Kolkata. Now you guys know the drill. There is uh, chemistry between you guys. You've worked together. So whilst you get into a huddle, Think of what it is you're going to give our judges today with uh, Pani, remember, in two of the three main dishes. As always, Ira, can you please take us through the rules of this stage? Sure, Ali. Before that, I have to go and get some kind of input from our judges, starting with the man who really dislikes our game changer, Veer. I think they've done this to fix me. <laughs> they know I hate Pani. First, they did a beja round which I hated. Now they've done a paneer round. Then for the elimination, they did that very greasy Kareem's curry. It's the equivalent of taking a chef, pouring him in a vat of boiling oil and seeing if he lives. It's interesting. There's very little to do with good cooking. And now paneer. I mean, I'm ready to give up. <laughs> Mary Lee. Oh, more paneer. Oh, dear. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, I'm, I'm excited because, admittedly, it doesn't taste of much. However, I think that with spicing and clever cooking and good chefs, you can make something interesting out of paneer. So for me, I think it's a great game changer. It's a clever game changer. Mm -hmm. And no two better chefs to make it taste good. I, I agree with Marilise. Um, it, is, it is an ingredient that can be infused with so much flavour. Um, I love paneer and uh, I've had a lot of paneer since I've been in India. Uh, however, I haven't had much paneer in Pakistan, so I think it's going to be m more of a challenge for Poppy. So, let's see. Interesting. Interesting way to kickstart the quarterfinals. Here are the rules of the quarterfinals. Pay attention because they're different. One, along with their apprentices, both chefs have to cook two appetizers and one main course in 90 minutes. Two. Two of the three dishes, as always, must contain our game changer, paneer. Three, they cannot use palak in any of their dishes. And four, the chefs cannot repeat a dish that they have already made in this competition. As always, once done, the menus will be scored out of 10 points by our jury. Thanks very much, Ira. Now, as the rules are nice and clear, let's find out from the chefs what it is they're going to serve up to the judges tonight. Let's start with Poppy Yaga. Right, uh, paneer, terrible. Um, I'm gonna st <laughs> I'm gonna start off uh, with a little paneer arancini served with a red chili jus uh, to bring out flavor in the paneer. Uh, my second dish is going to be a poached lahori fish served with an imli pesto and stuffed red chilies, which I've baked in the oven or sun blushed or emulated a sun blush. 
uh, and my final dish unfortunately which will have paneer in it again will be a paneer karhai a very typical karhai served with ajwain rotis thank you that sounds quite nice manish uh, my first dish is a salad which uh, is a prawn salad with pamelo and uh, gaad gobi and lal muli and uh, it will be have a it will have a tamarind dressing for the second starter is a rumali paneer tikka with a herb butter crust on top and uh, then we have uh, for the main course paneer or murg ki khurchan with a malai uh, matar the ndtv news app had redefined the entire genre now another market beater it's already hit number 1 ndtv profit india's number 1 finance app download free at ndtvprofit.com/apps live stream of ndtv profit market news and your easy to manage portfolio download now ndtvprofit.com/apps